<تصفيق> وشكرا ايضا للحضور واجب انه صوتي مسموع والسلايدات ايضا واضحه ان شاء الله ومحاضرتنا اليوم عنوانها بالاويل اند جاز برودكشن اوبتمايزيشن وهي جزء من التعاون مع الاس بي هي تشابتر جامعه كربلاء وان شاء الله الجماعه في اس بي تشابتر هم يسجلون المحاضره يعطوكم ترجيماتها وانا ايضا من اخلص اعطي السلايدات الى اعطيهم لهم يعني محمد كاظم التواصل محمد كاظم او الدكتور عبد المنعم وهو ان شاء الله يوزعون عليكم اوكي المحاضره هي تقريبا ساعه ونص ونص ساعه الثانيه المتبقيه هي للاسئله والاجوبه فاذا عندك اسئله اما تكتبها بالشات بوكس او تقدر ترفع ايدك وتسال في نهايه المحاضره الاويل اند جاز برودكشن سيستم هو يعتبر فد انتجريتد سيستم يعني متكامل انتجريتد يعني متكامل You start from the beginning in the reservoir and you finish until you expose the oil to the terminal. فكل مراحل هذه مرتبطة مع بعض. They are connected to each other. They're starting from point A until point Z. And you do so many activities. We focus today on production. What do we do in production? And especially on optimization. Optimization is a very new idea here, currently, very new ideas, and there are so many companies. Asking the people to optimize. If you start a company, if you work with oil companies, international, they ask you for optimization of production. The question who our question what's the role of a production engineer, and what's the meaning of optimization? I'm a mechanical engineer, production engineer. What do I do? What what is my responsibility? What is my responsibility? As a production engineer, the production engineer and the Akfa Mashallah very busy. منها the monitor production operations, يراقب عمليات الإنتاج. اعتبارا من the production tubing, the wellhead, flow line, the choke, وانتهاء ب separators. إذا مهندس الإنتاج العلاقة بعملية التصميم وتشغيل بعض المعدات السطحية والسب سيرفيس مثلا اي اس بي أو مثلا جاس ليفت هذا مهندس إنتاج مهندس إنتاج أحيانا إلى علاقة بالإي أو آر إنهانس أو ريكفري بالووتر إنجكشن مثلا أو الجاس إنجكشن so this also part of him يعمل مرات العلاقة بعملية removing the skin factor احنا نسميها flow assurance remove the skin factor by acidizing or fracturing هذا يمكن نعتبر ايضا من شغل ال production engineer التحديات مع ال production التحديات مثلا <تصفيق> عملية ال skin formation damage ال pipeline technology separators كل هذه مهندس انتاج قد يشتغل فيها مهندس تاج مرات إلى علاقة بالإيكونومكس بتشوريم إيكونومكس يعني اقتصاد النفط وإلى علاقة بالأوبتمايزيشن كل اليوم هي محاضرتنا أوبتمايزيشن أوبتمايزيشن عملية الإنتاج النفطي بأقل التكاليف فهذه النقاط هي من واجبات مهندس الإنتاج في الشركات النفطية أنت عادة كمهندس إنتاج تهتم احتمال كبير قليل من الريزيفور يعني في البيرفوريشن اريا البي دبليو اي وتصعد نحو الأعلى إلى أن توصل للسيرفيس هاي كلها أنت عبارة عن برودكشن إنجينير أند ذيز أر إمبورتنت ثينكس تو بي أوير أباوت هذا برودكشن سيستم إن فرونت أوف أس أنت كمهندس إنتاج اسأل نفسك وات أر ذا فاكتورز كود بي أفكتنج أون ماي برودكشن أنا أعطيكم مقدمة سريعة بعدين أدخل على الـ 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 optimization. فأسألك أنت كمهندس إنتاج، ما هي الفاكتورات التي تؤثر علي؟ 
منها I need to know the reservoir fluid properties خواص النفط الخام والغاز كذلك such as API viscosity chemistry of it and so I أعرف الصخور porosity and permeability my rocks as well I أعرف interaction ما بين fluid and fluid such as weightability adhesivity saturation and these are important as well capillary pressure these also عبارة عن interaction ما بين الصخور والكرود أويل I need to know what's my production design criteria. Shall I uh, produce from a chalk, tubing, tubingless? Shall I do ESB? Shall I use a gas lift? Shall I have a chalk or no chalk? I have production designing criteria. You should know this one. And I should also monitor the production history. أبدأ وبعد ما أبدأ. ذات production history العلاقة ب the pressure depletion, the pressure depletion, the flow rate depletion, GOR increment, water cut increment. هاي كلها مهمة كمهندس إنتاج أن يأخذ اعتبار وهاي عوامل تأثر على الإنتاج. So if somebody ask you name for me factors affecting on productions. ما هي العوامل اللي تأثر على الإنتاج؟ هاي أمام خمس عوامل خمس أشياء. تقدر توسع بها اكثر واكثر. آه ايضا الفوكس فاكتور اخرى اللي ياثر برودكشن هو الدمج اللي نسميه فلو اشورنس. الفورميشن دمج. مرات بنسميه سكين فاكتور. بوزيتيف اور نيجاتيف. اي نيد تو نو ذا اي بي ار ان فلو بيرفورمنس ريشن شيبس. إذا تذكر Vogel equation Vogel's equation هذا علاقة ب <تصفيق> Reproduction لازم تعرف شلون تحسب ال Productivity Index وال Intercept ما بين Inflow وال Outflow هاي كلها عوامل عليك أن تفتهمها أثناء ال Reproduction هذه مقدمة سريعة بس السؤال هو What do you mean by يعني production optimization ماذا تعني كلمة optimization optimization in simple term هو عبارة balance between production rate and delivery uh, depending on demand يعني قد أنتج أنا in my well board قد أنا أوصل separator and what is the demand from my company يتطلب منك optimization you should know your system production system and your reservoir fluid the production system شنو يشمل the production system يشمل the bottom hole pressure the PWF the perforation area the production uh, tubing from bottom up the SSSV subsurface safety valves A restriction داخل التيوبينج الويل هيد الفلو لاين التشوك والسبريتر كلها مع بعض احنا نسميه فلو سيستم او برودكشن سيستم فالبرودكشن سيستم يشمل اشياء سب سيرفيس وسيرفيس ليت مي شو يو ذيس از ات شوفوا هاي سلايد شباب دو يو سلايد يو ار وذ مي تكبرها هسه كبرت صارت كبيره امامكم هذا كله مع بعض نسميه برودكشن سيستم اذا واحد سالك في جوب انترفيو قال لك شنو برودكشن سيستم ما هي مكوناته انت تنزل له من اسفل البير تبدا من بي دبليو اف وتصعد نحو الاعلى تقول البي دبليو اف تقول الالت اوف ذا برودكشن تيوبينج اللي ريستريكشن اوف ذا برودكشن تيوبينج The subsurface safety valve, the well head pressure, the choke, the flow line, the separator. كل هن مع بعض نسمي إحنا production system. So production system has some parts which is subsurface, where the other parts are surface. جزء سطحي وجزء تحت السطح. All these are important to think about. So the optimization I need to deal with the system in a way that with minimal problems 
and maximum production with a good quality. ما عندي مشاكل مسطع كل شيء وينطيني إنتاجية اللي أريدها. So can I make this system work optimization? بشكل مثالي what shall I do? مثلا واحد يجي يقول لك والله اختار الشوك سايز يكون مناسب فوق. واحد يقول لك والله أنا اختار I will choose the right production tubing. Somebody else will say to you, I will choose the number of perforations. شخص آخر يقول لك I will put an ESB or a gas lift. So or maybe I will use a bigger separator and so. So the system, you take it piece by piece, and then you say I need to optimize them. The most important things in the system is to understand the pressure behavior. The pressure is very, very important to control and to monitor. The starting from the external pressure, average reservoir pressure, the PWF before perforation and after perforation. The PWF before perforation is a mona PWFS. Al S for <coughs> sand. Sand phase. Yani liya sukhur. PWF inside the well bore. But the end the pressure friction losses inside the tubing. And the pressure in the well head. You lose the pressure and send me nana out of flow. Out of flow. We pressure losses in the flow line. In this system, I have two types of flow. Two types of oil flow. One of them I call N flow. I N flow. F L O W. And the out flow. The flowing of oil inside the porous media in semi N flow. N flow. And this is the Vogel equation. Vogel equation. The IPR. Will flow inside the well bore through the tubing is an out flow. So I have in flow performance or in the out flow performance at the IPR or in the OPR. Will interaction between them will give me a good optimization, give me the, the right and the best and the most optimum operating point between the flow chalk and tubing. So remember this system and remember how much pressure we are losing as we go from underneath up. كل ما صعد نحو الأعلى ويوز دلتا بي عندي واحد اثنين عندي ثمانية دلتا بي I have eight pressure losses eight pressure losses I lose the pressure in eight areas in eight locations If you understand this slide in front of you this is the beginning to understand optimization. This is the beginning of production system optimization. This and next I could go and I can get the loss of the pressure to be minimum. I lose the pressure is not good for me. For example, I am not going to get pressure between the well head, for example, the well head with separator. I don't want to lose too much pressure. If I go, I may be flow line. Diameter, smoothness, maybe single phase or multi phase, maybe the shock size open or not open. And this is the idea. Enter, enter the Mohandis optimization. You sit together, you sit with yourself and tackle every delta B. Enter, say, Nasak, Lish hide delta B, Agda, I say, we hide delta B to the minimum. You cannot make a zero, impossible, but to the minimum. I reduce it. I reduce the pressure, which I'm losing. And that will be a good way to understand, which I will explain later on in a minute. But let me continue talking about optimization. So we, we know the meaning of optimization from this slide. And now in the production system and include. How the production system here in front of you and include the reservoir. Sukhur. So you are reservoir production engineer. Production engineer, he or she must have a good underground uh, under uh, bending knowledge regarding the reservoir.
and that's important. So you have to understand reservoir engineering in order to understand production later on. So that you have to remember flow in porous media, a pressure drop in reservoir formation, Darcy equation, so what kind of steady state flow or semi steady state or pseudo or unsteady states, you need to know these things. So the production system needs from something about a, a reservoir, hence I mean IPR. The IPR, a vector Vogel equation. I'm taking the so called Jamaa or Baakmi Arab Vogel equation. It's a well bore, yeah, need tubing or completion, multi. Single, dual, multiple completion, a tubing with no pump, no artificial lift. A tubing with artificial lift, such as gas lift or ASB, production system optimization. And then the surface facilities, the separator, flow line, the pipeline, the valves, and so on, tanks. كل ما بعضها يكون هو سيستم فانت عندك something we call subsurface and you have something surface as well sometimes it could be very simple sometimes be very complex depending on the reservoir condition so simple when we have uh, maybe simple reservoir tubing surface facilities complex if I put artificial lift system or maybe water injection or I have multiple well multi -laters, dual completion, triple completion. This is more complex. So this is the idea of optimization. Optimization, you should know the production system, Martek. Production system, slide Martek. This one. So you need to know that very well. And you say it's complex or not complex. So the, in this system or this slide in front of you, we have a good understanding. Let's start from PE, when خلص بال P sub. Start from PE, has an external pressure. And you finish with P sub, it is separated pressures. What should be here, So therefore, to understand a production in proper way, we need to understand reservoir deliverability. Deliver. Deliver يعني يوصل. Reservoir which is, can give me oil. Deliverabilities. When you وصل, it وصل من السخور إلى داخل well bore. From, from PR until we reach PWF. And سمي هذا reservoir deliver. The reservoir is delivering oil to the well bore, to the bottom hole of the well bore. But then, should I need a man there? I need lifting, alpha, and oil, minana, me PWF, air, and also the service. And see, lifting of the hydrocarbons. How does we lift the hydrocarbon? Maybe by natural pressure, maybe by using artificial lift. Give me example ASP gas lift maybe i have very small pressure then what shall i do i say water water injection chemical injections and send me an eor enhance or recovery methods but then oil may also the surface what is what i need to go to send it to the stock tank stock tank the tank before exporting the oil before sending the oil to a refinery or to abroad other countries. Transport to marketplace. Also, this thing you need to consider as part of optimization. A flow assurance. Yeah, you should have flow assurance. The flow multi, this this flow in the well bore will never stop. Continue every day is give me a flow rate. يعني أنا ال 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 production well is working every day twenty four seven twenty four hours seven days a week. 
when it will stop, it will stop we have problems such as a broken ESB or maybe a gas lit valve is blocked or I have blockage with the production tubing because of scale build up and sphelting. Maybe I have perforation blockage. I have formation damage. Let's say skin factor. So I have to make sure that my flow assurance is continuous. And the formation damage, so I'm thinking how to remove it. Maybe by acidizing, fracturing, solvent injection, sand production, so sand clearance, wash out the bottom of the well bore. And the blockage with the tubing, so I have to open the tubing, maybe acidizing, or maybe solvent injections. That is the word of flow assurance, number four. Number five, with consideration, think about the oil market. Is it worth it? If the price in the market is very good now, so to make me happy and to spend more money on my oil well, or the oil price is not good, so you need to think about the market. Last week, I gave a full training course on petroleum economics. And we talked, I talked to my trainees about the oil price and the factors affecting on it and the time. Now is good for making money because of the oil price is useful. So remember now, remember, you ask yourself, what do I need to consider to make this production system optimized? Came it optimum by Arabia, typical example, very good. I speak sometimes in Arabic because most of the audience are Arabic. How they speak Arabic or understand Arabic. So these five important factors in consideration. This reservoir delivered. Reservoir deliverabilities. I mean Darcy equation. I mean flow in porous media. That's what I mean in point number one. Is my reservoir easy to flow through it? A good permeability, a good porosity, a good pressure drop, or it is heterogeneous and difficult to flow. So if not all, in if you and if you want to understand production optimization, you should have some understanding for your reservoir. At least that's the equation. Point number one. In point number one, you ask yourself about reservoir fluid flow. The fluid flow through porous media. Ben Kausen, that's the equation. Is my flow a steady state or pseudo steady states or semi steady state? Is it single phase or multi phase? And that's important. My flow regime is it linear? Is it radial, spherical? Reservoir geometry is my reservoir uh, dip angle? Is it a large reservoir? Is it with water aquifer? Water derived mechanism, gas cap, geometry of my reservoir, is it a piece of rock or is it sand lenses, whatever it is, all these geometry. And finally, number of flowing fluids in the reservoir. Inside the reservoir, do I have only one single phase or a liquid or liquid with gas? Number of flowing fluids or liquid also segregated into oil, water, and the gas. So you need to understand these things. Even enter you to be a good production engineer, you should have a good knowledge of reservoir fundamentals. Shabab Simoni, are you there? Naam, Dr. Shukran. 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 Sh
يعني اذا تروحون انا ما ادري بس اتكلم نفسي يعني انت هابين وذ مي ماني تايمز سم تايم اي توك وان اور وبعدين اقول ماكو واحد يسمعني اوكي سو ذيس از امبورتنت تو كيب ان مايند اذا كنت عبد الله من اس بي شابتر اذا uh, يعني اي لوز كونتاكت وذ يو just you can either contact me by whatsapp or shout something so the flow regime you need to understand مصعب يعني not something very very complicated انت افتهم داسي equation flow in prose media وتقول هاي flow مالتي هو عبارة عن يعني semi steady steady state unsteady state يعني دي بي باي دي تي كونستانت لو فاريبلز او سمثينج اوف ذات شنو كلمه ستدي ستيت اند سمي ستدي ستيت الى علاقه ب ما يسمى دي بي باي دي تي بريشر دروب وذ تايم اذا انا عندي فور اكزامبل كومبرسيبل فلويد هي مين غاز هاي كلمه اذا تقرا بكتب معينه وقال لك كومبرسيبل فلويد بين قوسين هي مين غاز فلو غاز ايكويشن Slightly compressible, we say one of gas condensate. It's the other one. Incompressible mean oil or water. So these are the meaning of the fluid I have: either oil or water, or gas condensate or gas. I'm going to go to steady state. For example, the steady state. Where we have incompressible fluid, I mean liquid, we use the linear equation. This is the equation of Darcy, which has come like that, as a linear equation. Darcy linear equation. Darcy linear equation. Very simple equation, but important to understand how does the oil move inside the rock from the outside to where the well bore. وسميناها I P R capital I capital P capital I R in a flow performance relationship relationship between what 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 are what between flow rate and delta P between Q and pressure so that's a linear one and it's a mere steady state because dB by dT is equal to a constant. هذا steady linear هذا steady state radial. This is the same Darcy equation, but we modify it to radial where we have lin R E over R W. وأنا متأكد أنتم إذا طلاب صف ثالث أو رابع petroleum engineering you came across Darcy equation. إذا أنت geology هم من قراءة Darcy equation. Linear or radial. Well, this is steady. A steady state means dB by dt equal to a constant number figure. Incompressible, yani for uh, liquid as well, you can rearrange the Darcy equation as a subject of pressure. We show the the pressure with the location away from the well bore. We show the pressure every time I go. قريب من ويل بور البريشر يقل 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 الى ان يصبح عندي قليل جدا نسميه بي دبليو اف فاذا واحد سالك سؤال سؤال انا اسالك سؤال منو اكبر وات از مور لارجر ان فاليو البي دبليو اف ولا البي ار عاده منو اكبر دائما المفروض المفروض الجواب البي ار دائما اكبر الريزرفر بريشر دائما اكبر هذه افكت The fact and the other diamond in the whole P R average flow pressure who Akbar be Kathir min the P W F the well flow pressures and that's important. It was about on P W F plus other factors need to look into. يعني P R إذا مثلاً نقول P R ألفين وخمس مية P S I the P W F يمكن ألف وخمس مية. سؤال لكم انا عندي البي ار هنا البي ار هذا بهالسلايد 2500 البي دبليو اف 1500 وين راح ال1000 واي اي لوست 1000 بي اس اي واي 
انا عندي 2500 ومن وصل الاويل داخل البيض صار 1000 1500 from 2500 to 1500 psi so when i have delta b equal to 1000 is gone away I, i lost it why the answer because of the restriction of low and porous media due to friction losses and we have a narrow channeling in the rocks so i lost the pressure شلون اقدر how can i make that pressure losses minimum قليل you say maybe i have better perforation i do acidizing i do hydraulic fracturing يعني i create channels within my rocks to make the restriction is small even this is the things you need to think about as well that relationship between a pressure and a location هنقول P is function of R you may finish with a curve like that so عندك انت 2500 this is the PE pressure or reservoir pressure as you come to the well bore it's 1800 so I lost about 700 PSI due to friction losses within the body of the reservoir هذا radial incompressible fluid radial oil flow then أول واحد سمنا steady state flow النوع الثاني يسمونه unsteady state flow. These are important, important in understanding the optimization later on. So the single phase in porous media. Kangul oil through porous media. Or gas through porous media. Porous media and formation. In unsteady state flow, and the DV by DT مو constant, متغير. So remember, شباب. بالستدي ستيت فلو عندي انا الدي بي اوفر دي تي يساوي فد كونستانت مرات يكون يساوي صفر وما يساوي صفر بيساوي فيري سمول كونستانت البريشر ديبليشن وذ تايم الى حد ما ثابت الان ستدي ستيت فلو لا ال دي باي دي تي از ا فانكشن اوف اي اند تي اي هو البوزيشن او اللوكيشن وير ار يو اواي فروم ذا ويل بور ال اي هو البوزيشن البوزيشن يعني موقعك جد بعيد او قريب عن الويل بور هاو يو ار فار اواي فروم ذا ويل بور هذا ال اي ال تي از وذ تايم يعني وذ تايم The pressure will deplete. So, and there's two fact, two function, or two factors affecting on the dB by dt. The unsteady state, who will position and the time, function of. Yeah, tell me do Allah. Where is your position? How how far away you are from the well bore, and at what time you are measuring that? In the beginning of flow, middle of the flow, after certain time of the flow. So that time factor. For the unsteady state. Is important to think about. The unsteady state, the steady states will be affected by the pressure affected by permeability, porosity, fluid viscosity, and rock and fluid uh, compost. These factors, be a dB by dt. These could be have a connection with pressure distribution. So always remember, the steady state and the dV by dt of the fabric and steady متغير. I use the Darcy equation radial linears. Well, factors affect on the fundamental reserve fluid in general, so it can steady, and also it can unsteady in both cases. Yeah, so it's steady or unsteady. The third be permeability, porosity, fluid viscosity. And rock and the fluid properties or compressibilities. Can my quantity kabira, my dV by dt will be very small. The viscosity alia, my dV by dt will be large as well. I lose more pressure. But this is the, yani, distribution of the pressure around the well bore as function of time, مع الوقت. So as we away from the well bore, we have high pressures. As you come close to the well bore, 
the pressure will be depleted and gets more and smaller. So the pressure here at the end, so we can say PR or PE, sometimes external pressures. The PR in the middle, and the PR in the dash line, and the pressure inside the well bore, and we call it PWF. More precise, the PWF we call it PWF or the PWF or S, and that means near the perforations. في ال PWF قسم قسمين قبل perforation يسمونه PWF S داخل الويل بور يعني عبر perforation يسمي PWF ما به S to be differentiated من هو أكبر ال PWF S أكبر من ال PWF يعني دلتا P because I lose pressure due to restrictions هذا كلها بعملية flow of oil and porous media to understand optimization حتى تعرف هذه الشغلات حتى تعرف أنا أقدر عن optimization أو ما أقدر وإذا أنا إذا كبر ال PWF لازم أعمل مثلا acidizing or increase number of preparations and so on because optimization here you need to produce more oil uh, with a minimum cost فأنا عندي الآن نستدي قلنا إلى عاملين position and time هذا الـ careful underneath in this slide شوف هذا النكرفات هذه العلاقة بالـ T factor T5 T5 والعلاقة بالـ position الـ R So you have a trend of a pressure يعني ما بين البعيد إلى الطرف القريب من الويل بور على Assumption that if flow rate Q is constant, then the under the by dt is function of time and position. يعني not a constant. بال unsteady state. بال steady state constant. بال unsteady state not constant. أكو ما يسمى pseudo steady state, which is semi steady state. Sometimes it's very semi steady state. هو يعني لا هو steady ولا هو unsteady uh, in this case it is in the middle وهذه عادة الحين نقول ال db by dt إلى أيضا constant depending on the location of r و to be more precise which is I don't like as a reservoir engineer مرات الحين نقول ال db by dt equal to zero وهو مستحيل ال db dt equal to zero نانا بال steady state دوري نظريا theory يقول أن يساوي zero هو ما يساوي زيرو، هو زيرو بوينت ميبي زيرو زيرو تو مثلا. يس اي بير بير مينيت او بير بير او بير اور. هم يقولون كونستانت او زيرو، فاحنا نقول كونستانت احسن، فانا اقول ان انا مثلا هم يقولون زيرو احيانا. بالستدي ستيت زيرو. بالسيمي ستدي ستيت از فانكشن اوف اي اند تي. والسيدو اللي هو السيمي سيمي ستدي ستيت. يقول هو عبارة عن كونستانت دي واي دي تي ليش أنا I'm talking about production engineering why I'm talking about reservoir because they said to understand production and to understand optimization you have to understand your reservoir then your production optimization two factors you need to look into one of them flow in porous media is a IPR IPR a flow inside the rock. That's my reservoir. The جزء الآخر يسمونه out flow. اللي هو flow inside the production tubing. فا the optimization إلى علاقة بالطرفين. Optimization in my reservoir and optimization in my well bore and the surface conditions. So I need to know these things. That's why I'm teaching you this. Bill, excuse me. I have a question, please. You can ask yeah. Yeah, regarding the unsteady state. Please, if you go back to the previous slide. No, no, just the previous one. Yeah, yeah, no, the, yeah. So I think uh, 20, slide 20. Yeah, so you said we have PWF and PWFS. What does these two terms stand for, please? Okay, but this slide is our, our slide, the build system. And the production system, 
and this slide if I make it large for you and the P that you have is the letter PWFS you see this one and NDPWF you see it or no yeah yeah I do the, the pressure just just before the perforation at the face of the perforation and send me PWFS but the oil adopt jayit khal mean formation inside the well bore sand face pressure right so and semi sand face now once inside inside the well bore is a PWF and Andy Shway Delta B Martin Delta B multi here Delta B number two Nana loss across completion in a loss pressure across the perforations yeah so PWF stands for flowing well pressure right PWF might be as flowing well pressures and if he has the pressure inside the rock but at the entrance of the perforation okay so do you have static well pressure static if you close the well bore you say index static okay okay cheers if you close the well bore you say bottom hole pressure it how well mean PWF is a BHP. If you, if you close the well bore. And you have static, but indirectly, the PWF is a static, which is rho GH. So it's pushing up. And therefore, you have natural flow. If you have a flow, it basically will be having some static heat. I'll join you in the Yes? Yes, you did. Thank you. Thank you. So go back again to my slides. We have steady state, semi steady state, and the unsteady state. And both these regimes are important to be understood in order to understand my IPR. Remember, with optimization, I'm talking about optimization. You have two cr criteria one inside the rock, and that's very much reservoir. In this case, we say ask ourselves, what the flow regime is it steady, semi-steady, or unsteady? A semi-steady has a monoid pseudo. Will uh, a semi-steady if you have pseudo or pseudo pseudo steady state, P silent? You may define, you may derive your Darcy equation in other word, and you say, for example, I take the middle line. I take the natural log at the middle of the RE. Well, if you have a calculator, a natural log of uh, 0.47 is equal to 0 0.75, I think. And that's coming from that natural log of the 0.47. I just want to switch on the light. And I bring my calculator. If I say the uh, I have point four seven and the Caribbean Montes of a I will natural log mass here. Natural of point four seven should be a negative value. Yes, negative point seven five. Either under calculator, we take the natural log an airline of point four seven one. And yeah, take it other minus 0.75. How they took it? They, they said we take the halfway through. Yeah, and from PE, other masafa, from PE, in a PWF, after the next the average is me. The Hawaii 0.47. Take the other 0.5 that read. Me khalaf, ma'akum mishkila. We take the uh, natural log of it. So you 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 modify equation. The means mean steady state to semi steady state, and this is the equation now. Not the same as the equation, but be a new factor in the negative 0.75. Modification of the equation radial to fit the title of semi steady state. Will you hear most common? Yeah, you know, steady state. The nature difficult and the semi steady any steady states difficult. So, semi is more more obvious. And you develop this question later on. As and you just you just develop the equation as a subject of time factor or something else because you need to come with how can I predict 
the value of my PWF. I have very important in optimization. If I'm not the PWF, I'm asking you. Ma and the PWF. Here PWF is nil, zero. Do you have production? No. No production. So therefore, to predict uh, uh, to predict the uh, uh, PWF, you have to put an equation, and this is the equation in semi-steady state to predict the value of PWF. Important in optimization. Ma and the PWF, ma and the production. So you need to know it. With time of flow in hours, and also we need to know it in terms of RE, how far away from the PWF, from the uh, well bore. And the high data did the so we end later on. Uh, Bill steady state or to be more precise, but semi state, you have to think about the shape factor A. It's a mono shape factor C A will A here area of the drainage area with shape factor. Yeah, and you can call square, circle, triangle, whatever. Also, that's important to take in consideration. So, what I want to say from here, I'm talking about optimization to do. Production optimization, you deal with two areas. Area number one is the reservoir. And then from the reservoir, you say it's a steady state, semi, or it is unsteady state. I prefer to go to semi. Semi is more common. And therefore, I need to develop, modify, modify, develop, modify that equation to suit, like to nasib, el lipsido. Or CEDO. And that's very important. And then I have done the first part, understanding reservoir. I still talk more about reservoir a little bit, and then I talk about the tubing. One of the enemy for production optimization is the issue of yeah, any restriction of flow, especially if you have a blockage in the rocks and because of skin factor because of a skin factor or because of a blockage in permeability because of pressure losses so IPR so I need to know why why I don't have flow in the rocks you, you question yourself so put a, a solution, and maybe reservoir simulation can help you. If that kind of skin factor as a reason behind that, so you need to know how to calculate the skin factor. You need to know how to do it. You need to check that you have a skin, and how much is it? The skin positive, muscular, not good. The skin negative, or equal to zero, is good. Positive small, okay, but positive large, muscular. I'm sure again, some of you is aware about the skin factor. Can I add skin in the equation? Yes, you modify equation and put S inside it in order to be more real. This is in steady state as well also in semi-steady state. So my message is like this. I want to understand optimization. I repeat myself again. One item, I need to understand my reservoir, my Darcy equation, my flow behavior, and the restriction there. So that's important to keep in mind. Now I come inside the well board. Now, and this is slide, I am inside the well board. The oil need to be lifted up to the surface. Either by natural flow, when, in which case, in which case, natural flow will, in case of, uh, if, I, if I write something here, I say natural flow usually happen if I can end in PWF larger than P static, static head, weight of the column. One of you, saying static head, static pressure. Uh, so I have to have a good pressure inside the well bore to lift the oil up. 
احنا نسميه ناتشرال فلو ناتشرال بيكوز اي دونت يوز اني بومب اي دونت يوز اني غاز ليفت من نيتشر يعني من الطبيعه ريزرفور ناتشرال لايك ذات الله سبحانه وتعالى بنيتشر والماء والاويل جو تو ذا سيرفيس لا انا ما عندي فيديو زين مو هواي و اي نيد تو برودوس مور سو اي يوز ارتفيشال ليفت maybe including ESB اقدر اضيف هنا انا water flooding CO2 flooding whatever and in order to get some kind more pressure in order to make BWF a bit large فانا بالاضافه الى ارتفيشال اقدر اخلي كلمه ESB ايضا ESP gas lift as well ESB stand for electrical submersible pumps مضخات كهربائيه غاطسه I'm planning to give a seminar on a webinar on ESB and gas lift, inshallah, in near future. It's a good topic. Main flow in tubing, and some even lifting. Natural gas lift, bamila akhri. Wa flow inside the well bore, inside the tubing now. Wa the flow multi hell was single or multiple space. These are important to know. To do the optimization. As I flow in the well bore, and a couple light for the tubing, or the flow in the tubing, and let's say out of flow, will the flow is it single phase or multi multiple phase, oil, gas, and water. Especially if I have pressure less than bubble point pressure, I may have. Some multiple multiple phase flow. I will show you that later in the tubing. Are you any kind of clear? Remember these things. If then I have finished my reservoir, and I now inside the well bore. Inside the well bore, the flow from reservoir inside it, and then from inside to the tubing production tubing. But then. It transportation. Now the oil come to the surface. So remember, I'm talking about the production system, Shabab. Shabab, I'm talking about the production system. This system. So I have flow between eight and seven centimeter IPR. Six, seven to six centimeter flow inside the well bore. A from six until three centimeter flow in the tubing out of flow. From three to one, semi-meter pipe system transportation. Then from one to one B, semi-meter surface pipeline. So these are important to remember in terms of a production optimization. As a kind of pipeline, Andy, I'm I'm asking, how can I make The flow rate in the surface very optimized. Mari Mashakil, this is a job. I will use large diameter pipeline, a smooth pipeline, no roughness, very clean pipeline, no restrictions, no valves, no bending, no elbows, no T's, T's and T connections. So it is a wonderful flow. Mari, a restriction. يعني لو تسألني أنا تقول لي أنا عندي بايب لاين دكتور حسين شلون أخلي البايب لاين مالتي أوبتمايز والفلو بي ما بي ار ريستركشنز وندرفول أي أتيل يو يوز ذا رايت دايمتر شود بي فيري سموث انسايد بايب لاين إت شود بي كلين بايب لاين نو سكيل نو أني أسفل تين أو تاب دون بوت أني فالفز أون إت ميك إت ستريت بايب لاين وذ نو إلبوز No any bending, no any T connections. So this is giving you an optimum flow. But then mid pipeline will have tankers, will have other places. So this is important for me to to consider. For flow and pipelines, I need to understand the pipe component. With the magnetic valves, the elbows, the T's, the pressure gauge, flow meters. I need to know these things. Diameter, thickness, length, flow control and conditioning. So you need to adjust the flow rate through a certain valves 
has a mere control valves. Some people call the globe valves. Globe valves are very good for control. Ball valves is good for sealing. Separation, separator, I need to understand my separator. Do I need it or not need it as well sometime? And the pressure maintenance. How can I maintain the pressure from point one to point five? Shall I use a pump or compressor for gas? In certain countries, for example, in Abu Dhabi, in Oman, I have seen that. They put the tank on a hill. And the flow comes with the gravity. Sometimes. To minimize the costing of running a pump. So that's also important in transportation. Remember, I'm talking about subsurface. Reservoir. Now we come to the outflow, and he was inside the bottom of the well bore, the production tubing, was on a choke, a choke separator, a separator to the pipeline system. One of the techniques they use to understand production system optimization techniques is a nodal analysis. A node was junction. When does the outflow, small inflow, يرتبطون نقطة معينة نسميها نود N O D E نود نود يعني جنكشن the roundabout the roundabout in the roads in this case هذا أحسن طريقة لاختيار ما يسمى عملية ال ال optimization يعني لو أنا أرجع إلى هذا 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 سايد أمامك I'm asking you I am asking you from these numbers, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which number you think will be a good node? يعني بنص الطريق لا منا ولا منا. يا يا نمبر. Somebody can answer me. Hamad Nouri, can you help me? Hamad Nouri. Hussein Hamza. Maybe Muhammad Nouri Swarif. Hussein Hamza, can you answer me? Sorry, what was the question again? So, you answer much to my From this system in front of you, number A, seven, six, five, four, two, three, one. Yeah, number one, you take the idea roundabout, a good joint. It is the node. يعني لا هو على يمين ولا هو على يسار. صعب الوسط. This is the way. Sorry, Doctor, can I answer you? Yes, okay. Yeah, I think uh, the point three is a good note. Point three is surface, right? Well, head and that. Yeah. Okay, you take the target, but I'm going to go point six. Then point six is my being out of flow or my being in the flow. Point six is a bit worse. My being flow in the reservoir will flow in the tubing. So here, a joint which is between uh, in flow or out of flow. They can take number three as a well head pressure if you want to deal between one and six. Don't include seven and eight. But if you want to include all of them from one to eight, I prefer number six. Aziz, uh, you, you answered the question correctly. If you choose number three as a well head, and therefore you will be uh, a node between one and six. But if you want from eight and one and eight, you have to do number six. This is the meaning of node. The meaning of node, like a roundabout. Something in the middle between flow in porous media and the flow in the tubing. That's something you need to remember. And I hope that the beginning of optimization, you choose a point and you say, I play the game around it. How can I optimize my pressure in this case? We call it in this case uh, uh, production outflow. Kilometer optimization, sometimes they write it with Z letter, optimization, sometimes write with S letter. American people use Z, English people use S. So same same spelling.
Karina, what do they say in, 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 in Spanish optimization? No idea? Hi, um, optimization. Okay, optimization so, de la pro yeah, yeah, is. Better, better uh, leave it in English, please. Leave it in English. Easy for us. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, Karina. Uh, so the optimization is, is something, as I said, optimum. Optimum, yani typical, ideal, with minimum losses and maximum production. And therefore, I need to balance between two flow. One of them, I name it inflow. Between eight and seven, I, say, I name it inflow, IPR, inside the reservoir, according to Darcy equation and according to Vogel equation. And between six and one, I will name it outflow, outflow. So can I balance between inflow and outflow? If the answer I can balance, then this is optimization, the beginning of optimization. Very simple for a production engineer to take that in consideration. Uh, whether sometimes it was ESB or no ESB, same idea in this case. So production outflow is a production of oil moving through the tubing, through the choke, through the uh, flow line, until the separator and that's something which is you need to take in consideration production tubing is important part in optimization if you choose the right tubing right diameter a right location as well and right numbers why numbers sometimes you have only one tubing in single completion sometimes you have two sometimes you have three we call it dual completion and triple completion, and sometimes multilaterals. So remember, my friend, all of you remember, the most important part within the oil well, which has a connection with optimization, is the production tubing. Production tubing. The other important part in the well bore, and has a good connection with optimization, is the well bore perforations. Well bore perforations. So perforation, tubing, a very important optimization. Number three is the choke. Choke. The choke also and play important part in optimization. Choke size, close, semi-close, no choke at all at, at all. Also important to think about optimization. So regarding the tubing is a very important part in optimization, especially diameter of it a number of these tubings which need to be looked into and caused. I'm just worried about the time. I got with you about 20 minutes and then I have to stop. 22 minutes and then question and answer. Let me talk a little bit about production tubing. Very important part. Should be integral, clean, no any holes, no corrosion in it. It's set very well inside the well bore, a good packer to fix it, to put it somewhere, and no any bending, no any blockage, and so on. All these are important in production optimization. Can I calculate the diameter of the perforation? Yes, somebody gave us equation like that. The length of the tubing, flow rate, you know it, PWF and PWH. PWF if the pressure number six, number six here in this diagram is PWF. PWH is number three, number three. Can I know them? Yes, you can know. You can measure them, actually. You can measure them. So you know the pressure, PWF, PWH. You know the length of the well bore, gamma, and the specific gravity of the oil from the API. You can use the equation in front of you to predict the typical the typical diameter for the tubing. So if you, know the, if you know the diameter, then you will be, I can say, reasonably happy to choose a good one for optimization. So it'll give you a number plus minus. So somebody put the question for us. Tubing, it could be vertical, the easy one. It could be in deviated well board. It could be in horizontal well bores, but at the end of the day, will be almost same principle. In horizontal, we have some challenges regarding the segregation and the gravity factors, but in vertical and deviated, it could be the same. 
So optimization, the other question they will ask you, is your, your wellbore vertical? Most of the wellbores in Iraq are vertical or maybe horizontal, but most of the 70% of them are vertical, so it's an easy one. The vertical, they will ask you the flow patterns or the flow regime in a vertical tubing. Is it at the bottom, single phase? As you go up from the PWF uh, through the number six, five, four, until you reach number three, the pressure will be depleted. The gas will come out of the oil. You see these red spots? The red spots are coming larger and larger and larger until you finish with a well bore with mainly red. Most of it is red. And that's something you need to keep in mind. That flow inside the production tubing from a single phase to a multi-phase to a slug flow, it has an impact on a friction. Friction. If the friction is very high in the tubing, the flow rate will be very small. So it is against optimization, against optimization. I'm asking you, how can I reduce the red area? The answer in two ways. Either you close the choke valve half and half to put back pressure, so no more gas coming out, or you increase the pressure in the reservoir by using water injection. And therefore, you will not get gas out. The gas will come out of the oil because of the bubble point pressure. So how can I make the bubble point pressure is avoidable? Two ways. Choke, don't make it fully open. Number two, if you can, do water injection to build up the pressure of the reservoir. This is optimization. I did mention water injection about optimization in the first slide, I think. If you remember, I mentioned that as something to consider. Consideration, uh, I think I mentioned that. I'm sure I mentioned the uh, 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 water injection, gas injection, and so on. In order, it's a, here it is, complex water injection. Sometime I need to do that. Sorry, Doctor, yeah. a quick question, please. Yes. Um, for the um, reason one, uh, the full full chalk open. Uh, what is the the effect on this uh, this choice? If you make Can the chalk is fully open you make a big drop in the pressure of the well bore. There's no back pressure at all. If the pressure in the oil drops and become less than the bubble point pressure, they will get more gas. And sometimes could be these gas could be make a, a, a choke uh, or a, a gas lock, L-O-C-K, locking, because because of too much gas. Did I answer you? You also next. You have more questions to ask? Yes? You okay? So, remember now, I'm talking about the other part of optimization. I finished the any flow, that's the equation, steady state, semi-steady state, unsteady state. I mentioned IPR, I mentioned Google equations. Now we are inside the well bore through the tubing. Tubing, this is the patterns of it. And this is the mathematical equation to know how much pressure I drop. The most enemy, the most enemy for optimization is the pressure losses in the production tubing. The more I lose the pressure, the more I am away from optimization. Why do I lose the pressure in the uh, tubing? According to, if you remember in physics, or in fluid mechanics, they talk of Bernoulli equation. Bernoulli equation. This is Bernoulli equation. I have three energies, kinetic energy, dynamic energy, and position energy. Some may call them static energy or wellhead energy or static head. These are, could be influencing how much I'm losing. Beside if F, F is the friction losses called dynamic, the length, the diameter, and so on, and U is the velocities. 
L, in this case, it tell me the deeper, the deeper the well bore, the more the pressure I lose. The difficult for optimization. Shallow is easy to optimize. And the friction losses, depending on diameter of the pipeline, small diameter is more F. Number two, it depending on roughness of the pipeline, a smooth pipeline, small F. And number three, it depending on um, uh, Renault number, whether it is uh, turbulent flow or laminar. Laminar flow will give me less friction losses. So you need to think that way. You are a product engineer, say, how can I make it laminar? How can I make it a uh, smooth pipeline? How can I reduce the uh, frictions uh, inside the pipeline by using a, a, a good diameter for my uh, tubing? These are things you need to think about as an engineer. You should ask yourself, I am production engineer and my company asked me to do optimization. What shall I do? I remove skin factor. Maybe I do more perforations. I do maybe hydrochloric fracturing inside the uh, rocks to give me more, more flow. Inside the tube, inside the well bores, I have to make it very clean, no sand production. The, per, the uh, pro, uh, production tubing should be clear, a clean, no restrictions, no any scale, no asphalt team build up. So it be smooth, the right diameters. It uh, should be the flow is single flow, no turbulence, no multi-phase flow. The flow should be laminar. Laminar mean Renault number less than 2001. So all these things you do think of yourself and question yourself, this will help you to do optimization. And you change theory into practical. That's the job for optimization production engineer. And maybe I assume some of you already is a production engineer in some certain outcomes. So the outer flow, you need to think about Bernoulli equation and the calculation. Friction factor is important to be predicted and to be calculated using this equation. Or sometimes they use the, the, they call the Moody diagram. If you remember in, aerod in fluid mechanics, they do Renault number and the roughness and the Moody diagram, which is you have done in the university maybe a uh, long time ago. I move a bit faster because these are very, very uh, theory things. Now, my question, what can be done to improve the outflow rate? I mentioned to you, reduce friction losses. Use a larger production tubing. Don't put restriction on the choke size. Make the choke size a bit three quarter open, for example. These are important, no restrictions. And the other question or the other answer, maybe I will use some artificial lift, such as maybe gas lift or other things, slowing friction pressure drop, larger tubing, lower friction pressures, choke, why choke is needed. Sometimes I know and say, I, when I was to go to Abu Dhabi at Nok, in certain wells, they have no choke, zero choke. They remove totally, no restrictions. That's the way they think in order not to put any uh, back pressure on my well board. And I remember when I was working in uh, Romaila oil field south of Iraq a long time ago, we have some wells with no choke on them, especially if production rate is very high. So these are things to consider in optimization. Tubing and choke. Tubing restriction and choke size. And that's important. Nodal analysis can help very much a lot. Take a look at a, a, a point, I call it node, N-O-D-E, between any flow, between the rock, and between the outer flow. And in this case, I can name it in this diagram as the PWF. If I say this is eight and this is seven, it will be number six. And from there, I can use it as a pressure before and after, and balance the equation will help it to 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 uh, put a node in this case. Nodal analysis help you a lot to find exactly production tubing size and the number of perforation you need. That's very useful actually. So remember, one of the tool could be used in order to do optimization is nodal analysis. Maybe something you have done in the university, not something of you have done in the 
uh, now, but Nodal is a good tool, a good technique, a good analysis in order to predict the optimization which need to be changed. Shall I change the tubing? Shall I put an ESB? Shall I use a gas lift? Shall I increase the number of perforations? Shall I open the choke? No, the analysis can tackle these issues. And the idea, for example, here I have between PI, P separating, and P separator, this is, could be a, a, a node area between the bottom to the bottom. I is one, and P separator is eight. So, for example, in this example I put here, between inner flow and outer flow, I put a junction node as PWF, which is at the bottom of the well board. Before, before that, I have PI, I have PR, and I have PWFS. So I can say I have eight, seven, and six. Some people say just eight at the nodes. They say eight, seven, and six in the, middle, in, 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 in the beginning, in the middle. But I can say eight, seven, and six, and then I can put five here. On the top of it, I have pressure in the tubing, well head pressure, and the separators. If I can make a balance between them, so equation number one, this is the way you write it. And equation number two, this is the way you write it. And in mathematics, you say equation one equal to equation number two. Substitute the numbers and you find the optimum pressure for PWF later on as a solution. I'm not teaching another analysis here. I'm to optimization, and my time is very, very bad because I forget myself talking and the time running fast. But this is the principle. Yeah, I need to give another analysis. Maybe, maybe in the future, I'll give a full webinar on another analysis. I gave a full course, five days course on another analysis uh, two months ago. So a big subject and need. But this is the principle of it. I will teach, I'm sure, I promise you, hopefully when I get the time, I will arrange a free webinar on nodal analysis. So the production system, you need to design a production system never uh, to be separated into reservoir and piping system. It's one system altogether. And include the reservoir, subsurface, and include the surface. It will look into about oil and gas flow in the well from the reservoir and from the well bore to the separator. The entire production system must be analyzed as one unit. We take it as one unit altogether. From the reservoir, even you reach the stock tank. It's one system. So what do I need to do for optimization? What's the procedure for optimization? This is the, about eight points, eight steps. Step number one, name a component in the system. I say the wellhead, PWH, or maybe I say PWF. I choose something. Select one component to be optimized. I am optimizing the production tubing or I'm optimizing the choke size or the number of preferences. By the way, you can optimize three things in general, either the production tubing diameter or the number of preparation or the choke size. These, if you optimize them, you get reasonable understanding for optimization. You may add other factors, you may add there is restriction uh, inside the well, uh, restriction in the tubing. You may add the SSSV subsurface safety valve. You may use that one if you want. But as, as a general easy way, think about perforation, number of perforation. Think about the choke size or pressure of the choke. And think about production tubing diameter. These are good areas to analyze for optimization. Select a node, as we said, for example, the node at the junction between before and after, before and after. PWF is a good one. PWH also a good one. 
these two areas good pwf or pwh they are good node develop the inflow and outflow remember google equation the ipr the j factor and the outflow the friction losses and the tubing calculate pressure drop delta p effect of changing the pressure drop at three inch a tubing how much and i repeat same calculation at production of 3.5 inch and how much a pressure drop at a choke size for example half open and pressure drop at three quarter open so this is you can make comparison in this case that's the meaning of changing by selecting a component repeat the procedure for each component and optimize the production system according to say this is the optimal result. these are steps used in nodal analysis which is a tool to do optimization the procedure for nodal analysis the solution for that an important uh, tool for this at the end because it has a connection with the deliverability of a well delivering oil to the surface no dancers can help so you put the system in front of you i make it large you can see it now better i prefer if you ask me well, what do you prefer i prefer two areas for nodules either pwf and before and after or after the wellhead or maybe the choke i can take the choke actually this is the choke here will help and i make the equation like that i have some examples uh, for calculation but i thought today's webinar not a lecture so i don't want to do calculation and the time is getting tight on me my lecture is oil and gas production optimization I covered most of things on oil, but I didn't talk about gas. I will talk a little bit about gas. I like gas reservoir very much. This is the logo of my company anyway in, in Liverpool. Uh, we have the, uh, uh, the in gas reservoir. You have a gas bed, piece of the rock with gas inside it. And the best way to get it out is horizontal drillings, wells. The main challenge in gas reservoir is the low permeability, very tight compared with oil reservoir. And the pressure depletion is very fast compared to oil. Sometimes gas reservoir need fracturing more than the oil reservoir so the difference between them so you need to understand gas reservoir the flow of gas through porous media and the type of the flow sometimes you have only gas dry sometimes gas will condensate which is more difficult especially if you have bubble point pressure small and the condensate come out. Uh, you need to also be aware about how much gas in the place I have. The gas equivalent in standard cubic feet. This is the way to calculate it. GE, gas equivalent in standard cubic feet, especially in gas condensate. And also you need to be aware about Total gas produced, GP, because that will give you an idea about depletion and pressure. You need to, in the reservoir as well, to do how can I estimate how much gas in a place before a production. They use the graphical way before and after production and recovery factor between the GP over G. I initial or they use equation simple equation they call the volumetric equation this is the th volume equation to predict how much gas you have in the reservoir 
when you bring it to the surface because you have BGI. BGI, we call it gas formation volume factor. Sometimes they call it expansion factor. Quite useful to have a little background about gas reservoir to do the optimization later on. The major things in optimization is to control the pressure. The pressure depletion rate in the gas reservoir is much higher than the depletion rate in oil reservoir. Same thing you have radial and you have linear. You can use the radial model for the gas production. So therefore, the pressure is important. PWF is very important because depleted very, very fast. So that's why we have square factor. So in radial or also in linear, square. And use the RMS root mean square to take the average between P1 and P2, between PR and PWF. Viscosity of the gas is very small, Z factor also you need to calculate. So to understand optimization in gas production, keep an eye on the pressure. The pressure depletes very fast. This is the equations, both linear and radial. And how much do I recover at the end of the day? How much I can produce? 90%, 95%? This is the way I calculate it. So they give us equation to calculate the final recovery factor. So you need to know that as well of optimization. Because optimization means you need to have R factor as big as possible. 80%, 85, 90, 95. That's important in optimization because I need to produce as much as I can with the minimum effort and minimum money I need to think about. So understand reservoir is important. The time, I hear the time. Now we have nodal analysis. I mentioned that the node, these some examples of pressure drop with being out of flow and in flow. Uh, this this curve this curve coming from the pressure down has a mean IPR sometimes a J factor in a flow relationship between the pressure drop or the flow rate so the more pressure I drop inside the reservoir the more flow I get in the tubing the more pressure I put in the tubing the more flow coming out of it so maybe an ESP maybe high pressure of PWF. So more PWF, more Q. Less a pressure, reduction inside the reservoir, more Q is coming. The intercept point between outflow and inflow, and then semi the optimization point, the best operating point. I can get a best flow with a best pressure. How can I control the pressure in PWF? By controlling the pressure in the choke. By back pressures. So this is an idea of optimization between inflow and outer flow. Of course, you need data. You need two tables of data. One table between the PWF and the flow and the tubing, and the other one between PR and the pressure inside and the flow rate inside the reservoir. So one is Google equation, and the other one is the uh, uh, outflow in uh, in a pipeline. So one of them is Google, and the other one is the outflow. So nodal is, uh, is very good. It's an intersection between inflow and outflow can give you the understanding for optimization. You go back again to the system, which I repeat the system very much, and you choose a node. And according to that, you optimize. You see, in this system, in this system, I will enlarge for you now. I enlarge it for you. You choose PWH as a node. You choose this one, PWH, as a node. Before and after. 
before BWH, he had this equation, reservoir minus pressure drop in the reservoir minus the pressure in the pressure drop in the tubing equal to PWH. So uh, to reach PWH from bottom up, just follow this. Bottom up. After PR, I take PR, I take PR, delta P reservoir, I lost pressure inside the reservoir due to restriction, and then I took the pressure losses inside the tubing, P delta a tubing between PWF until I reach PWH. The pressure I lost inside the tubing because of friction losses, because of the Bernoulli, gravity, position, dynamic. The pressure I lost in the reservoir because of restricted permeability, small permeabilities, no good movement, maybe because of skin, maybe. Thus, Question number one. Equation number two is the outflow. The outflow is between separator and flow line. He said, I have pressure of the separator and the pressure in the flow line. He add them together because they are adding, because I move opposite way to get the PWH. So from bottom up, you take a negative, minus, minus. From separator to well head, you add, mathematics-wise. Just think about mathematics. You agree with me, Peter, you actually it's adding of separator plus the pressure loss in the choke or in the um, uh, flow line. It's come to this one. But this one came because I lost the pressure from reservoir and to the surface. And that's something you need to take in, 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 in consideration. I hope that's clear, or I can say simple in that way. If you put them together, you find a solution later on. Here about diameter of the tubing. He, D1 smaller than D2. When he increased D2, diameter of the tube is larger, he get more flow rate on the x-axis with the almost same Delta B or small delta B. This is for diameter. So these factors you need to think about uh, flow. I will open the chance for a question and answer. This is another nodal analysis. This is not the analysis. Tubing optimization, we mentioned that already. If tubing optimization can get it easily, as we say, between inner flow and outer flow interception point. Tubing, we have mentioned tubing. Perforation also. The more the number of perforation, the more the flow rate, the better optimization. So I have also any flow and outer flow. N number. So N3 is more than N2, give me more flow rate. N1 is small, N2 larger, middle, N3 more. So the more the number of perforation, the less restriction, the more flow rate, optimization. So optimization, number one, an increase production tubing. Number two, an increase number of perforation from this. Of course, in the mass balance, choke. The choke also important in calculating the J factor. I need to come to the choke. Tubing I mentioned to you, it's a choke. The chokes are important to be fully open and good condition in this case. So the choke valve is important. I can get more if flow rate will have a bit larger opening for the choke. More flow rate. Between D1, D2, and D3 for sender therapy. You can also do the IPR inside the, the red line and the flow inside the rock. The TBR, a tubing performance relationship inside the production tubing. The interception also could be, give you optimization. This is all the choke. I'm passing very fast because of the time and I'm getting tired now talking about 
one and a half an hour more than that. So we have these delta b, you analyze them. So you have to have a relationship between flow rate on the x-axis, a pressure on the y-axis, and try to uh, compare between them. There's no choke, what shall I have? Surface well head. Choke performance. And you have the IPR in flow. This interception point is the optimum point between the surface well head flowing pressure. That's mean between the well head and the separator. And you have the choke. It gives you the optimum choke size later on. Uh, so the optimization, think about uh, tubing, flow line, the back gravel pack and so on, these important, like communication. This is with ESB or gas lift and so on, also effect. I'm passing very fast because of the time and because I need to answer you. So the forecasting as well, maybe I will give a lecture some other time. So you think about future time. You can predict in the future how much I can uh, do regarding well head pressure or choke size or maybe shall I change the tubing to something larger or no and very very important to think about so in, my, in conclusion I can say that uh, nodal analysis is a good technique for optimizing optimizing choke production tubing number of perforations and these are very important part in optimization uh, it is widely used in industry, this nodal analysis. Uh, you have a software nowadays, you have put data, the, cal the computer can give you the data, such as the uh, sim simulation or the performance, etc. And these analytical data is very useful. Okay. I started with you at 9 o'clock in your time, Iraqi time. And maybe now you have 10.43. So you are fed up with me. Yes? Did I make you a bit upset with talking too much? This is the job of a teacher. You want to be a teacher? You have to be a good talking abilities. Otherwise, keep quiet. <laughs> okay. So now, uh, Abdullah, Abdullah, if you hear me, can you read for me the questions on the, or the, anybody want to ask me? I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I can read some of the questions here written for me in the chat box. Ahmed, he said, Salam alaikum, alaikum Ahmed, alaikum salam Ahmed. And uh, Ari, Adam, hello everyone, hello Adam. Hussein, Assalamu alaikum, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Ustaz. Alaikum, Ustaz, Fadl. Ustaz, Nigdar Ngul, the nodal analysis, who are next to the simulation? No, no. Simulation is when you put some data in a program, set softwares. The data you put in, the, in that software, some of them called static data and dynamic data. You collect from the reservoir, from the free flow, you put them together. And you tell him, can you analyze for me and to tell me what is the right production size, for example. So it is, it is a tool to do analysis. An analysis best to be done first by annual hand work. And then if you have enough data, feed that data into a software to solve the problem. So simul simulation is something else, actually. And there are so many types of simulation nowadays, but simulation is solving the nodal analysis if you have the data. I prefer for a starter, is to do it by hand. To do it, to put the system in front of him and do it by hand, that's what I prefer. Because it, it make you, it make you understand things much better in this case. شكرا استاذ استاذ عندي سؤال اخر هذا الموضوع البرودكشن اوبتمايزيشن كان مشروع تخرجي بس هو كان اوبتمايزيشن برودكشن اوف اويل ويل باي يوزينج بروسبير سوفتوير وانا استخدمت الاي اس بي بامب استاذ 
فقدرنا يعني بعد ما استخدمنا الاي اس بي قدرنا تقريبا الانتاج ازداد تقريبا 2000 بارل بير داي فيري جود فيري جود يس ات از كليرلي اي اجري وذ يو اف يو دو جود نودل اناليسيس اف يو تشوز ذا رايت تيوبينج ذا رايت اي كان سي سيستم it will increase the production for sure yeah that's the idea of optimization is to produce more oil with minimum pressure drop and minimum costing shukran استاذ على المحاضره انا كلش استفادت الحمد لله اري شكرا مشكور استاذ حياك اني اني مور كويشن تو اسك او شو اريد يا دكتور اي وونت تو ثانك يو اباوت ذس اوسم سيشن And uh, for for your uh, answer about my question, I lost my uh, network. Sorry, uh, my question uh, was about the closed sh- shock valve. Yeah, what is the 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 effect of uh, closed shock valve? Uh, it is the slippage velocity, can effect of that, or what? Thank you. Yes, slip slip velocity will be affected. Yes, if you uh, closing and uh, closing and uh, closing the shock valve. from for example fully open to three quarter to a half to a quarter you put restriction on the flow the flow cannot co- out, come out of it so in other words you big you put back pressure uh, you are pushing the oil inside the whirlpool and therefore that the major aim it will decrease the production you call it into yani if i pick if i bring this slide for example the system is light where I have the full system of production like this. And number three, I'm closing and closing, assuming we have flow well board, flowing well boards. So I'm putting restriction in this, I put back pressure on the top of the oil. It cannot come out easily. So yes, back pressure by closing the choke, it can r- reduce the slip velocity. It may also put back pressure on the well bore itself on the perforation area and the production will be reduced in this case uh sometimes we need to do that if there's too much gas coming i don't like gas so maybe back pressure on the choke could be useful to reduce the amount of the gas released i hope i answer you yes yeah thank you thank you very much Victor. Uh, If I read uh, Ahmed, uh, Muhammad Yunus, Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Ayyadar. So thank you, Muhammad Yunus. Sukra, kam daqiqa, sabinka. There's no question, only comment. Uh, Abdullah asking about the links for the attendees. Sukra uh, ask about certificate. Uh, Ahmed asked about how many lectures later on. This is a Kerbal University issue. The G, the, I'm, I'm reading very fast on the chat box. There's no uh, very much uh, there. Semi study, pseudo study, Thabita Bad Thorab. Yes, it is, it will be DB by DT is Konestan. I mentioned that already. Muhammad, Malcolm Musaud, Mujud. So I'm I'm finishing the chat box, uh, assuming that you have understood me quite well. Muhammad uh, asked question. Dua is about water injection. Yes, water injection has some impact on uh, optimization because build the pressure of the reservoir. PR is al index. So yes, dua water injection is complex, but useful for. Uh, optimization. Muhammad, Muhammad say, how can we do optimization in natural fracture well and ESB well? In ESB, uh, especially if you have low pressure in the reservoir or WF small, heavy oil or static heat is more, ESB can increase the production, so it could be a good idea for optimization, but cost you money because to run them. And natural fractures is a problem. Although sometimes it's good for uh, easy flow because more uh, permeability, I can say. Uh, but again, you can play the game with the choke and the production tubing. Uh, second equation, how can we choose the proper choke size? Uh, 
depending on your GOR and multi-phase flow. With single phase flow, reduce the choke size. Uh, how left till you finish? Please, can you share? No. Uh, this is the site location, Hamad Kazam. He already gave you the site location, which is very good of him. Copy link address, Rabat Tajin. Muhammad Kazim, Muhammad Kazim, uh, I finished reading all the uh, chat books, nothing there actually. And I hope. Uh, uh, نحن ما ننتج من البير. finance into it. So the end, maybe feasibility economic. Maybe just uh, But if the price uh, of the oil is about $90, $95, $100, so yes, for example, the cool, uh, 100 barrels, 80 of them is water, 20 barrels is oil, so there's still good money into it. So the uh, price of the oil in the market has effect on the decision of stopping or on, not on stopping water cut high or low. حتى انه ما كانوا يخلطون ويا النفط اللي تجي من الابار الثانيه كانوا قايلين عليه شركه سيرفيس باكج يصفي لهم النفط من المي بعدين يبعثونه للسي بي اف اي صحيح كلامك صحيح لانه بي يعني وان كان النفط قليل الاويل سمول بس البرايس از فيري جود البرايس از فيري تمام يعني اذا اذا سعر النفط عالي فعادي يعني سيز اني ايكونوميكال فاكتور نعم عامل اقتصادي نعم صحيح دكتور انه باي حاله نقدر نسوي هذا البير انه فور انجكشن نقدر نغيره؟ انه يجي نسبه اذا تو ماتش ووتر اند ووتر انجكشن تغير يا يو هاف تو تشينج سمثينج ان ذا ويل هيد اسمبلي بحيث يو كونكت ان نيو انجكشن بامب سو تغير ويل هيد كود بي سترونجر اند بيتر سم بيبل سم بيبل كان تشينج اور ذا الباكر بس سم تايم نو ماتش نيدد اكشولي اول يو نيد تو انتجريت ذا ويل هيد more expensive one is to put a, a new production tubing or injection tubing, but that's not always happening. So sometimes well head connected to the a water injection pump sometimes is enough. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 but it's better to have a flow line to intage, a sheer flow line, or to have a flow line to inject water in the Bible, in the well bore. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's just a good thing. When you intage, الى عميد حقن تمام يعني الفلو مالنا راح ينعكس اتجاهه يس ذات رايت تمام شكرا دكتور حياك الله اوكي شباب اي ويل سيند ذا سلايدز تو اور فريند ان اي اس بي اس بي كربلاء اف سمبدي وونت تو وونت تو كونتاكت مي فور مور انفورميشن اي ويل جيف يو ماي ايميل And if you email me, I will answer you. This is my email. And I thank you very much for listening. Today we have a good number, more than 90 something, 92. So I hope people will be benefited. And we have all over the places actually, which is good as well. Okay, Abdullah from SBE Kerbala, are you there? Ismani Abdullah, do you hear me? Where are you, Abdullah? Muhammad Kazim, are you there? SPE Kerbal. Ismani, sir. Ismani, sir. Ismani, sir. Ismani, sir. How would you tell me about close this session? شكرا جزيلا طبعا للحضور الكريم وشكرا لك دكتور خالص الشكر وان شاء الله محاضراتنا مستمرة في هذا الكورس وان شاء الله يكون لنا مواعيد اخرى مع دكتور حسين. بالنسبة لأي أحد إذا عنده سؤال يقدر يشرح إيده حاليا وإذا ما كوفى إن شاء الله ترسل المحاضرة وهي مسجلة وتنزل على قناة تليجرام الـ SBE والـ DE Academy
انتم وشكرا جزيلا مره كم محاضره عندكم بهالكورس؟ حاليا خمسه وان شاء الله اكثر يجوز خلال هذا الشهر التاسع من ديفرنت سبجكتس ها؟ ان شاء الله اي كويس يعني الشباب يسالون يقول كم محاضره و ان سو اون ذاتس فيري جود اوف يو اند اي ويش يو اول ذا بيست ان شاء الله ان شاء الله شكرا جزيلا لكم مع السلامه مع السلامه في امان الله باي باي I'm closing, and you may be closing as well. Okay, nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor.